Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to tell you about backup options for iOS-based devices, how to create backups with iCloud, iTunes and third-party applications. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Backup is a very useful thing to do which can save you from losing important information. Regular backups make it safer to use your device and gives a chance to restore it in cases broken, replaced, lost or stolen. For example, when your device is lost or damaged, you can always restore your data to another gadget. Very rarely. But sometimes, updates for iPhone don't often go smoothly and as a result the phone cannot turn on, the only way being its recovery. In this case, having a, back uh, having a backup allows you to restore the device to a properly working condition and never lose your data. So what data is stored in a backup file? The backup file will contain all settings, information about installed applications and their settings, text messages, the screen view and how shortcuts are organized on the screen, media files, audio and video, purchase history for Apple or Apple services and ringtones. In order to create a backup, go to Settings, find the page to manage your account, choose iCloud Backup. Here, turn on iCloud Backup. As a result, you will see a message saying that backups will no longer be created automatically when syncing with iTunes. After that, connect the iPhone to a power supply and Wi-Fi and lock it. As soon as you do that, the backup process starts automatically. If you want to create a backup manually, go to the same backup settings and choose Backup Now. The backup process will start. Unfortunately, such method is not for everyone, as iCloud only offers 5GB for free, and to make your storage larger, you should buy extra space. You should also have an active Wi-Fi connection. The advantages of this method are that your backup operations don't require any cables and every time the conditions are satisfied, the backup will be performed automatically. In case of backup with iTunes, the size of your backup is only limited by the free space of the disk where such backup will be saved. To begin with, connect your iPhone or iPad to the computer with a USB cable and start iTunes. You can easily download this program from Apple's official website. If you have any problems with connecting the phone to the computer and the program doesn't recognize it, make sure you have installed the latest version of iTunes, then try restarting the computer and reconnecting the phone. If this method doesn't help, go to the Device Manager by right-clicking on the Start menu or this PC. Find your device, right-click on it and select Update Driver. After all these steps, the phone should be recognized all right. Click on the device icon to see the possible backup options. Check the variant this PC and click on Backup Now. You can also choose to encrypt the backup and set a password for it. The most important thing is to remember the password, because you will have to enter it the next time you try to restore your information. Now wait for the backup process to be over and make sure you don't disconnect the device from the computer. When the operation is complete, you will find the backup following the path C – Users – Username – App Data – Roaming – Apple Computer – Mobile Sync – Backup. In addition to iTunes, you can create a backup with programs from other developers. One of the well-proven and free utilities for the job is the iTools app, and you can find the download link in the description. All you have to do is to download and run the program, and then connect your device to the computer. iTunes should be installed on this computer so that iTools can recognize the gadget properly. After the device is shown in the program window, open the Toolbox tab, then click on Super Backup. In the window that opens, check the boxes next to what you want to save to your backup and click Next. 
Here, you can choose a folder where to save the backup by clicking on this button. Wait until the program reads all selected data and click here to start. In the folder you have chosen before, you will find the backup files. Unlike iCloud and iTunes, iTools doesn't encrypt files, so you can view photos or listen to music from your device without using any additional software. It is quite easy to restore the device. Just follow the wizard directions until you see the screen Apps and Data, then select iCloud, sign in with your Apple ID, choose the latest backup, and the process of transferring data will start. The device should be con connected to a Wi-Fi network. In iTunes, click on Restore from Backup, select the necessary backup file, and start the recovery. In iTools, click on Super Restore, select the backup you need, and click Next. Check the boxes for data and click Restoring. When the process is over, click to finish. That is all for now. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!